Okay guys, we are here at Gordo's Public House in Austin, Texas. Check out the restaurant. It's amazing. I'm here with my awesome friends, Haley and David. They came all the way from uh, Houston. And uh, she's here to redeem herself. Because apparently, she sold that game when I wasn't looking. You told me to. I don't $10. remember shit, all right? $10. I don't remember that shit. But anyways, she came to redeem herself and she got it for me back. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Gordos, everybody. Haley and David. Gotta try Gordos. Hey, if you guys remember, that's the guy who recorded my panel for me. So, thanks, David. No Anytime.
Okay guys, I am super excited to show you all the stuff I've picked up throughout the week. It's been one hell of a week for consoles. It, it's just been that kind of week. It's been awesome and they've been all cheap and they all work. It's incredible. So let's jump right into it because there's quite a few stuff we have to go over. Okay, first off I want to go over this game with you. It's DuckTales Remastered for the Wii U. My two awesome friends, Haley and David Vila, came all the way from Houston. They didn't come specifically to drop this off for me. They came on vacation. And um, it's a big snafu on what happened there. We're going to agree to disagree. And I'm sure she won't agree with me, but uh, David will because he's cool. You know, he's more chill. But <laughs> whatever. It's been fun. And these guys have been to the last two Retropaloozas. And I see them there. And I talk to them all the time. And we actually had something to eat. I, we didn't show that part. But we did go to eat at Gordo's where she handed me off this DuckTales Wii U that was somehow sold throughout uh, the last Retropalooza. So uh, thank you for that, Haley. You rock. And David. Next up, let's get rid of these games because there's really nothing special about these games other than the fact that they're really fun multiplayer games. I love multiplayer games. When I have friends over, we always look for cheesy ass multiplayer games to fucking play. And these were perfect. They were at Savers. I got these right before I met up with uh, Haley and David to pick up that uh, DuckTales and we went to go eat. And I found a copy of Monopoly for the PlayStation. And I know it's like no big deal, but it was for like one or two bucks. And the same thing for Wheel of Fortune. I didn't have either one of these. So it was perfect. They go to my collection and I, like I said, I love, I love multiplayer games, which is why I picked these up on the cheap. Next up on the palette, we have a sick, awesome game. And it's Alice Returns to Madness, or Madness Returns, I'm sorry. And I know this is the PC version. I already own the 360 version, but the reason why I pick up these awesome PC games, one, they're a dollar. Two, I can resell these for a little bit more at Retropalooza when I go. Tons of people, believe it or not, tons of people ask me for PC. I'm like one of the only ones that brings PC games because I know there's a market for it at these conventions. And I sell them really cheap, man. I sell these really cheap. I pick them up cheap, so I sell them cheap. And uh, I know people love PC games, so I'm picking up PC games for my customers at Retropalooza. How awesome is that? Thank you. I'll pat myself on the back. Okay, so these next two are really, really awesome pickups. I was in competition with like three other people that were surrounding the DVD section and the CD section. And when two people that are looking for video games meet up, it's like... It's, it's really awkward because we want to look at the games, but we both don't want to seem like dick. I don't know. It's fucking weird. It's like we it, it's a weird it's a weird awkward feeling whenever two game hunters collide into the into one small radius space. You know, time and matter. It's weird when you share the same space. And I, I didn't I didn't care. Like I just I said, you know what? I'm just gonna be the first one to go in and dive in for the games because we're both like a little awkward to look for at the games. And I fucking glad I did because I picked up Castlevania Layman of Innocence. I should know this because I already own this, but uh, for a couple bucks I couldn't I couldn't risk leaving it. And then the next one, I know this is a badass game because I saw a bunch of reviews on this game. It's called No More Heroes. There's a pretty sick story behind uh, one of the chicks that is trying to kill this dude. And I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone, but man, it's pretty crazy. But for two bucks, I couldn't, I couldn't leave it for two bucks. So, and I didn't have one, so that was really cool. So you've seen me pick up the Incredibles there. I couldn't leave this one either for a couple bucks. One, I don't have this game, and two, I see it everywhere, but it's always for like four or five dollars. So I always wind up leaving it. But for two bucks and on the GameCube that I don't already own this copy, I'm gonna pick it up. So, and I always wondered how this game played. I see it everywhere, I just never pick it up because it's never for the right price. But I'm always curious as to what this gameplay is. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna give it a gander. So 
So these next ones I'm a little late on. Um, my awesome friend Rachel Silvers from the Houston Retro Gaming Society out there in Houston. Uh, I've known her for years. She's awesome. Whenever she comes to Retropalooza, she's always selling a bunch of cool stuff and for really cheap to her friends. And uh, she just so happened to have these two discs, one and two, Parasite Eve 1, oh no, Parasite Eve 2, I'm sorry, but disc 1 and disc 2. But uh, when I opened them up and I looked at them, I was interested in buying these, but they're pretty scratched up. I don't know if you could tell, but uh, they're pretty bad, in pretty bad shape. And uh, I said, how much you want for these? And she saw how bad the shape they were, so she just gave them to me. She's like, oh, they're pretty bad shape. Just go ahead and take them. Boom! Awesome! So now I just have to give these over to my friend Greg Honeycutt, who cleans these awesome disc games for really cheap. It's like $2.50, and you get these expensive-ass games to play again. And that's awesome. They, they, And I already have an empty case for this. I remember picking up an empty case at a garage sale for like a dollar. So I already got it complete thanks to Rachel Silvers. Okay, so these next ones are really late. Um, I know that you guys probably have seen them up on the shelves there. But dude, guys, I got this on a slamming deal. And uh, I got I picked up Golden Axe Warrior and Ghouls and Ghosts. I know you guys seen them up there. I never explained it. I just showed it up there. But uh, this awesome fan hooked it up with this slamming, slamming deal. These were I'm, There were still three figures. It was still three figures for both of these games. I'm not going to give out the figure, but uh, it was still a really good deal. I couldn't pass it up. He, this awesome fan hooked it up with this deal. I could not! I could not pass up. So Golden Axe Warrior was my 112th game, and then Ghouls and Ghosts is my 113th game. And all I'm missing now for my Sega Master System collection is James Buster Douglas and I will have every single NTS and these are all NTS by the way yes there's a barcode here and if you don't believe me check out that manual that's the NTSC manual because we go vertical we're not horizontal like pal so this is the American version or NTSC North American and this one also is the NTSC version Look at this. This is awesome. Awesome condition, guys. You can't beat that. And I did, like I said, got a slamming deal. Thank you so much, brother. You rock. All right, next up, we have this power player. Um, I, I couldn't leave it there for a couple bucks. Well, what, what did I pay for it? Seven bucks. I paid seven bucks for this thing. And the reason why I picked it up is because this thing right here, this little controller right here, I have one of these already. But... The reason why I picked this one up, again, was because this controller here, one, it has a hundred and something games built out, or a thousand games, something stupid like that in, built into it, right? 128 games built into the controller, and they're all old NES games, recycled games, they just recycle the name over and over and over again. But the best thing about this thing is that it plays Famicom games, so this is a Famicom player. How awesome is that? That's the reason why I picked it up because now I have one but I'm always afraid that it might go out so I pick up these because they're a cheap Famicom player for seven bucks. I wasn't, if I want to play my Famicom games, I would, playing it on the original Famicom is out of the question. And then the next option was to is to pay for an FC twin or some type of shit like that that plays it but they all average around 20 to 25 dollars. So for $7 to play it on this little controller, and it's super easy to play and hook up, which I've done plenty of Let's Plays on with this thing, it's awesome and cheap, and I'm going to do that all day. So the reason why I picked up this Slim, which I have, good God, man, I, take, I have a good stockpile of these PlayStation Slims. And the reason why I picked this up for $5 was because I showed a clip in the video of, and I think I played them back to back. I should have if I was smart. I should have played it back to back to where I find this one and then I show that ha that half price books one. They were selling this same $5 one I found for $75. Who is stupid enough to buy a slim 
for $75 at these places. That's ridiculous. Who does that? I found it. Wow, that's thunder you hear. We're having a crazy thunderstorm right now. But for five bucks, I'm not gonna leave this. And not only that, I know it doesn't matter. It's a stupid game. It's Madden uh, 2011. But for five bucks, I picked up the Slim and a game and they were charging $75. That's ridiculous. All right, so next up here, we have this awesome SP AGS. 001 not 101 it's it's front it's back it's front lit not back lit the back lit's the one you want but as you've seen in the video it works perfect i don't know if you're catching a, a glare there but it works perfect and if you notice there we got a game that came in it and it was spider-man how cool was that and i picked it up on the real cheap and i'll show you here in a second Oh, Spider-Man 2. Oh, look at that cutscene. Can you see that? But, oh, that's Superman 2. Or Spider-Man 2. And you can't beat that. The screen is not scratched at all. Perfect condition. The only thing that has a little scuffs is in the front here. But who cares? You're not going to play it here. You're going to play it here where it matters. There's no scratches here. And for 8 bucks, the, the console and the game? Come on. You can't leave that shit on the shelf. So this was one of the most wicked finds I've had found in a long time. And it was a N64 console. How sweet is that? It didn't come with this. I bought this off of eBay for like $4 and $4 shipping. So this costed me $8. And then the console itself costed me $20. So I'm up to $28 for this console. And I already had the... the RCA cords for it, the AV cords so and it works perfect and you know it works because me and Will did a let's play of Star Fox earlier and uh, we recorded it off of this N64 so hell yeah this uh, this is awesome great investment already because I'm already making let's plays on it okay so this next and last uh, set of uh, video game stuff wasn't actually found in the wild well it was but not by me my awesome friend Dana D or Retro to Modern on YouTube is an awesome, awesome game hunter out on Ro out in Rhode Island on the East Coast of America, and this guy gets some slamming deals. And no lie, he hooks me up with amazing, amazing deals. So basically, he he went out and found this huge, awesome lot of SNES games, and he gave me first dibs on them. So I picked out the games that I wanted. And he gave me a slamming deal. Thank you so much, brother, man. You've been there so many times for me. Love you, man. You rock. And uh, let's just get to what... Damn. Let's just get to uh, whatever it is that he sent me in a package. It's really cool. Okay, first off, I'm going to show off the stuff that wasn't included in the deal. He just threw these in for free. It was fucking awesome. We have a, a Pac-Man game for the Atari 2600. And if you guys know, and this was from 1981. This plays like shit. This will only be a display piece. So next up, we have a NCAA football 2005. The reason why he sent this was because he knows I collect sealed games. And uh, he has no use for them. So he threw this one in, which is freaking awesome. Thank you so much, brother. It will go great with my sealed games. So this is, the, I love this just for the packaging alone. This is another sealed game he found on the cheap, and it was for PlayStation 1. And as you can see, the packaging is just insane. I've never seen a game packaged in this way before, and I love it. I know it's, I know it's a shitty game. It's Moto Racer World Tour, but man, just look at this awesome packaging. This is so cool. This is the stuff I live for, and I'm so glad he threw this in. This guy rocks, man, seriously. Love you, Dana, man. This I hope you keep finding some awesome stuff like this so that I can preserve it. So believe it or not, I was willing to buy this from him, but he didn't have any cords to it, so he felt kind of bad, I guess, selling it to me without the cords. But I told him I already had cords, so uh, he wound up going he wound up going ahead and throwing this awesome system in for free. It is 
really dank and dirty and I have to take a long time cleaning this but I don't mind because it was free from my awesome friend Dana and uh, I'm gonna need a lot of TLC on this this thing really does need it but uh, it works it's awesome I love it you can't complain too much about free right okay and completely lastly these are the last things I picked up from Dana these are what I actually purchased from him and he gave me a slamming deal on all four of these all four of these uh, games that I'm about to show you slamming slamming deal and uh, let's just go ahead and start off with the first game he hooked it up with a Donkey Kong Country pretty neat really good condition he cleaned it up really nice Donkey Kong Country so next up is Donkey Kong Country 2 how sweet is that that's a really awesome game I know a lot of people like two before one but I grew up with one before two by the time this game came out I was no longer playing Super Nintendo which I was when I did play Super Nintendo it was for the Donkey Kong 1 not the Donkey Kong 2 but I hear this one's really good too okay next up we have its sister uh, Donkey Kong 3 I picked up Donkey Kong 1 2 and 3 all in the same lot with the Super Nintendo I mean you can't get better than that that's super awesome so I picked up all three in one swoop didn't have two and one two or three so that's really awesome and then lastly here oh I've never played this on the Super Nintendo I played it on the Nintendo but never on the Super Nintendo and uh, let's give it up for some battle toads and double dragon everyone this is the last game I picked up from him. Super awesome. Never had this game before. And now I do. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll get some Let's Plays going for you guys. Because I picked up quite a few awesome games. I mean, wouldn't you say? For a great slamming deal. And uh, thank you so much, Dana. You always rock. Thank you, man. This is awesome. And I know it, traditionally I usually do those unboxing videos for the mail. But this had to be included with all the other stuff I got this week. It's been an amazing week of pickups. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more of these awesome video pickups. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is OK Chief. Peace out, y'all. Wow.